This is their laser machine. What we have to see here, you have to understand the things. First, we have to see this is the power of the machine. In the further lectures, I will be telling you uh, which surgery is to be done at which watt. So this is the voltage. 6 watt, 8 watt, 10 watt, 15 watt. So they are basically two machines. Uh, 15 watt machine with 980 nanometer wavelength is there and another is the 1470. Right? And there is some machine which is a dual wavelength. You can see this is dual wavelength which machine has 980 also and 1470. You can operate with this machine at 980 nanometer wavelength also and 1470 nanometer wavelength also. I told you for 980 it is mainly for pies and fissures. But for, for if you want to do fistula, if you want to do pulmonary sinus and irla, varicose vein, then you need basically 1470 machine because I told you why that when you, the, the depth of penetration and the lateral spread is only 1 to 2 millimeter as 1470 is absorbed 40 times more than the 980 in water. The chromophore for 1470 is water. That is why it is 1470 machine is used. So if you are planning to buy, I suggest to buy 1470, don't buy 980 because now 1920 has also come. Uh, the uh, More than this machine has also come but that is not much used now. So this is the peak power voltage. I will tell you how much what and which and surgery will be done at which voltage in wow. the uh, lectures. Then uh, this is, uh, these are the settings. This is the button for this. I told you two modes. Which two modes I told you on operating? Continuous mode and first mode. Continuous mode may energy will be going in one way only. First mode, energy will go, then it will stop for a pause, then it will go, then it will stop for a pause. So we have two modes. Pulse modes and continuous mode. I will be telling you which surgery will be done in pulse mode and which surgery will be done in continuous mode. So these are the continuous mode, pulse mode, right? So when you are delivering the energy in the tissue, then you have to see this energy here. It has to be calculated. All the surgeries in which we have done are calculated on the energy basis. For piles, for example, in a one pile mass, we give 200 to 250 joules of energy for pile mass. So in a single pile mass, you have to see here and ask the assistant to tell okay, it has been gone on 250 or 250 joules. So the total joules of the energy is calculated here. This is the TN of, this is the emission time. So mainly three things you should know. One is the power, one is the continuous on pulse mode, and second is how much voltage you are giving. Anything left? So, uh, sir, I will, I don't like to ask you that question. Uh, sir is telling you that you have to ask your assistant that this much of energy is being delivered. So, we go to the continuous mode and suppose that we want to deliver 80 degrees. So you are looking at the patient and we are demonstrating, right? So you are looking at the patient, so your assistant has to see this actual effect. Somebody has to stand there and he has to tell you, so this much energy. I will show you in my OT yes. how we calculate this, right? Yes. And the, uh, you can, because this is a dual model, so you can select your wavelength from here. If you want to work on 1470, if you want to work on 980, or you want to work on the combination where simultaneously you can deliver 1470 as well as 90. Right? Yes. So this is a dual wall machine. This is about the machine. Yes. There's a connection. Now we will go on to the fiber point. Right? So this is a wire. So this is the handle, right? This is the piece, hand piece. So this this hand piece goes inside the tissue with the fiber, right? So we have to uh, put the uh, fiber in the hand piece. This is the bare fiber. So this bare fiber, if I show you, this is the bare fiber. The beauty of this bare fiber, you can cut number of times. So this can be used in 250 to 300 cases. My bare fiber, single bare fiber is working for last two years. It has not been finished now. So generally, it is recommended that piles should be done with a conical fiber. But the life of conical fiber is very less. So we are doing with a bare fiber also. So if you can see here, this is the outer covering and we have Slopped it off from here, and this is the internal problem, internal part. The fiber is inside. This is not the fiber. Fiber is inside. We have to chip the outer part. So you, if you touch it, touch it like this, you will understand that fiber is outside. There is a cutter for this. You can chip off the outer part. With the AVB, you can see. Right? You, you, you can chip off the outer part, and then inner fiber will come out. So you can feel. I will show you in the outer, right? So you have to cut it accordingly. When you are doing the surgery, this becomes black and sharp, and you have to cut these surgery, right? Yeah. Now we have to insert now you have to insert this inside this hand piece and one thing you should know how much it should be coming out right 
so ideally it should be one to two millimeter out only, not more than that. Can anybody tell me why I'm why I'm not keeping this much length or I'm not keeping this much length? Any guesses? Can we keep this much length and we can do the surgery also? What is the problem? Why am I oh. why I'm telling you can only keep this much length, one or two millimeter? Why? Any practical reason if you can think of if I can, I can do surgery by this also, why I am not asking you to keep it out 5 mm, 6 mm, why? It is emitting in V shape, that will emit that will emit from this side. So we can do this way also, right? We can do this also. Why we are asking you to keep only one to two mm, not five mm. Touch it. Exactly. This has happened with me once. What happens if you keep it more outside and you are in the tissue? Sometimes due to heat and trauma, it breaks. And if it get breaks, it breaks inside the tissue. And that will be a mess for you. Right? So I have experienced in my one my, of my cases that was a horrible experience. It keeps got stuck in the tissue and you cannot handle it. Right? So that is why I advocate it one to two millimeter only. The chances of breaking is very less. And second thing, you don't have to move the fiber against the resistance. You have to move it very freely. If you move the against the the chances of breaking is there. And you should keep mm -hmm. one to two millimeter only. Understood this point? So you have to insert it, keep one two millimeter outside, and then you have to make it taut. It should be very tight. It should not move because when you are moving according to heat, it could move slightly down. So it should be very tight. Right. Third thing, you have to feel the light is on. This the energy is not on. This is I told you the concept. What is this called? Anyone? I told you in the morning. What is this called? This laser light is called aiming beam. This is basically aiming beam. This is not a laser light. This is only the aiming beam, right? This is aiming beam, and when we she press this energy, when she will press this energy, then there is the then the energy will be delivered. That is all. So this is only the aiming beam. Aiming beam is used. Laser has no light. We just give a red light to it. This is aiming beam to show you the tissue direction. That's it. Laser has no light. Right? Simple. This was the this was the bare part. Any cases? What is this? No comment also. Any cases? What is this? Any cases? What is this? For for patient, for patient. not for doctor, right? So these are your goggles for doctors, right? Doctor, you understood what is this? Eye cover. For what? For whom? Patient eye cover, right? These are. R goggles, mm -hmm. which we are using, this special wavelength goggles, right? Okay. Fibers. Okay. This is the cutter. This is the cutter. Fiber is inserted inside this, and we cut it. This is your radio. This is radio. What I told you about the radio, somebody can tell me what, how it's emit energy. It should be energy is like this. That is why it is used in fistula, pyramidal sinus, and abdomen because you have to need a 360 degree energy. First thing, disadvantage. What is the This is 360 degree, right? Can you see? This is, and the bare fiber was V shaped. It was not 360 degree, it was straight. Right? So, what is the disadvantage for surgeons in this fiber? It's called cartilage of the So, it's like a bulk of it. Right? Why? Because this cannot be cut. Reusable, but the intensity goes down by down. So, it is not. It, ideally, they say 5 to 10 cases. You can use in many uh, muscular cases, but the intensity goes down by down. We cannot cut this fiber. And in bare fiber, the beauty is that cut 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 and you use it. Right? And use it, use it, use it. You can use multiple number of cutters. Right? Right? And in bare fiber, the beauty is that cut 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 and use it, use it, use it. You can use multiple number of times. This is your radial fiber. And for the good energy. This is the cutter, Raju Kaji. This, this is my laser man. Yes, I cut the common book. 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 I cut the common book
we put this as a right? So this is chipping out. Can you see it is being chipped out? Who is chipped out? Technical chip out. So you practice it, what is it? Yes, it is. This is. Yes, it 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 is.